Well, flight schools are also finding their way back into business. As you just learned from the Air Safety Institute COVID-19 Operations Guide, it is possible to teach and fly and stay reasonably safe from the virus. AOPA's Florida Ambassador Jamie Beckett visited one flight school to see how they're returning to flying. And he got his feet wet, too. It was as normal as it could be, with the exception of everything's being cleaned within an inch of its life. The classroom gets wiped down, the table, the chairs, everything. They clean the aircraft after each flight. Uh, they, they clean down the, the throttle, the stick, the seats, any place you could touch getting in or out of the airplane, flying it. Other than that, it's a normal experience and it was absolutely great. From a flight school aspect, you know, I always tell our instructors that it's our job to create a safe learning environment. And whether that's uh, physically, emotionally, even just in the airplane itself, uh, spending the time there, if, if they are not feeling they're in a safe spot, they're going to have, uh, they're not going to be have an open mind for learning. So we've been really doing our part to, uh, you know, and the J3s, you know, headsets are shared. So it, it's paramount that we're disinfecting between every flight. You know, all the uh, places a student may be grabbing to get in the airplane, all the control surfaces, all the, uh, especially the controls in the cockpit, we're disinfecting those uh, between each flight. We've invested a fair amount of budget towards just uh, disinfecting materials. In the aircraft, because we're flying J3 Cubs or Super Cubs, and it's Florida, the doors are open. Uh, we sit yeah. in tandem, and it's it's not the issue that it might be in a more enclosed airplane. If you're flying a traditional Piper or Cessna, something like that, so there's no one place to go and get this is the blanket answer for your flight school. It depends which state you're in, which county you're in, but as long as people are really making an effort to, to make sure people have the option to stay healthy and be comfortable, it seems like they're starting to get up and running here in Florida, which I'm thrilled about because Florida is the flight training capital of the world. I just had a great time, and it was very a non-COVID experience with the exception of what was happening around the office in the classroom. Wow, it looks like Jamie had a lot of fun with that, and, and actually in a very safe uh, way of getting back into flying. Yeah, it's great to, to note what precautions they're taking and, and what flight schools can do to can begin operations again for those who had shut down or continue operating safely for those who have managed to, to keep flying. And yeah, it does look like Jamie had an awfully good time, that seaplane flying in Central Florida. Almost no place better to do it than that and having the doors open. Man, it looks like a lot of fun.